only a game between two teams, is also a battle between referees and players. Sometimes the whistleblowing authorities get attacked by the rebellious warriors on the pitch, but on a rare occasion, the refs also like some action. Here are some moments where footballers and referees have clashed. The much-hyped Liverpool vs Arsenal had it all. But as 50 Cent says, drama never ends. Oh boy. Sounds like ref Hatsidakis might have been taking his job a little too seriously. I mean, who knew being a linesman involved throwing elbows like a pro wrestler? But seriously, poor Andy Robertson. He just wanted to chat with the ref and maybe get some clarification on a call or two. He didn't sign up for a half-time brawl. And can we talk about the video footage? I mean, I'm not one to jump to conclusions, but it definitely looked like Robertson got hit with an elbow. Maybe Hatsidakis was just practicing his MMA moves during the break. All jokes aside, let's hope this incident gets sorted out and we can go back to enjoying the beautiful game without any more referee player shenanigans. But this isn't the only time a ref showed his elbow dropping skills. Just wait for a few seconds to know how a ref caused a substitution. And before that, we would like to invite you to this one, the Fulham vs United game, which didn't go well for the former. Seriously, Alexandra Mitrovic really needs to work on his people skills. I mean, pushing a ref is never a good idea. Unless you're looking to get a one-way ticket to the naughty corner. And let's not forget about the rest of the team and coach Marco Silva. It's like the whole gang got in on the action. Two players were sent off and the coach got the boot as well. Talk about a rough day at the office. But back to Mitrovic, not only did he get a three-match ban for violent conduct, but he also got hit with an extra two-match ban and a hefty £75,000 fine for his post-red card behaviour. Ouch! Maybe next time, Mitrovic should try a different approach, like apologising and offering to buy the ref a coffee or something. Just a thought. Elsewhere, it looks like things got spicy down in Argentina during the Ocampa Fabrica vs Huracan match. And when I say spicy, I mean extra hot sauce, please. I'm not sure what they put in the water down there, but it seems like tensions were running high from the get-go. Maybe it's all the delicious empanadas and asado they're eating. Who knows? But things really heated up when Alexis Meza, the official, and Godoy, Huracan's legendary goalscorer, started exchanging some choice words. I'm not sure what was said, but it must have been pretty spicy to trigger such a reaction. Before you know it, punches were flying left and right, with Meza pulling off some impressive moves worthy of a boxing champion. It was like watching a real-life Rocky Balboa in action. But well, 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 looks like the MLS is throwing some unexpected curveballs at us. During the Seattle vs Portland match, something truly unusual happened. The ref actually elbowed a player. We feel for you, Robertson. Now, I'm not one to jump to conclusions, but I'm not sure whether the ref meant to do it or not. Maybe he was just stretching his arms and accidentally caught the player in the crossfire. We may never know for sure. But what we do know is that the player had to get subbed out due to the injury caused by the rogue elbow. Talk about an unexpected forced substitution. Speaking of refs versus the players, even the GOATs are not immune to some drama on the pitch. Cristiano Ronaldo once got himself into a bit of a pickle during the Spanish Super Cup first leg match between Real Madrid and Barcelona. And by bit of a pickle, I mean a whole jar of pickles. After scoring a fantastic goal and picking up a booking for taking off his shirt during the celebration, typical Ronaldo move, he quickly found himself in hot water. The ref wasn't having any of his diving shenanigans and gave him a second yellow card, sending him off the pitch. But that's not where the drama ended. Oh no, Ronaldo had to go and push the ref as he was making his exit, leading to a five-match ban from the Royal Spanish Football Federation. Ouch! I guess Ronaldo learned his lesson the hard way. Keep those hands to yourself, buddy. 
Let's hope he can keep his cool in the future and avoid any more pickle situations. And let's not forget the 2022 World Cup in Qatar, where Uruguay had a massive beef with German referee Daniel Seibert. It was a tough time for the South American nation, who were left fuming after being knocked out of the tournament at the group stage. Despite winning their final match against Ghana 2-0, it wasn't enough to save them. They were eliminated on goals scored, and to make matters worse, they felt robbed of a crucial opportunity to progress to the last 16. The players and staff were absolutely livid after Seabert refused to award them a penalty that could have given them the extra goal they needed. In fact, they were so furious that they chased the ref down the tunnel after the match. I mean, I get it. Losing out on a spot in the knockout rounds of the World Cup is devastating. Let's keep things in perspective here, guys. Chasing the ref down the tunnel is not the way to handle disappointment. Better luck next time, Uruguay. But you'll be shocked to know that even women aren't far behind in this competition between officials and players. It appears that you never want to mess with the DR Congo women's football team. In a match between DC Motema Pembe and TP Mazembe, things got heated when a referee made a decision that didn't go down well with one of the teams. The players were so angry that they chased after the referee, who ran for dear life across the pitch. Despite his efforts, the team caught up with him and gave him a good beating with punches and kicks. It's not clear from the viral video what happened to the ref in the end, but it's safe to say he probably won't be officiating any more matches in the DR Congo anytime soon. Moving to Chile, we have some more chaos. The incident occurred at a match between Club Real Deportivo Undemayo and Club Salvador in the city of Antofagasta, Chile. Things turned ugly after the referee had blown his whistle and sent off a player, prompting an enraged reaction from the amateur players, who attacked him with sticks and punches. Having attacked the official, the players allegedly then picked him up and threw him into a nearby ravine, to the horror of fans in attendance at the match. And that's just absolutely disgraceful. Football should be a sport that brings people together, not one that leads to violence and intimidation. Talk about savage moments. Robbie Savage is known for his unconventional antics on and off the pitch. One such incident occurred back in April 2002 when he played for Leicester City against Aston Villa. Just 10 minutes before kickoff, the midfield maestro needed to use the loo and decided to make use of referee Graham Pohl's private toilet. Unfortunately, it seems that Savage's visit left a bit of a mess, and he allegedly left the door open and didn't flush. As a result, Savage was hit with a hefty £10,000 fine for improper conduct, which, at the time, was the equivalent of two weeks' wages. Lesson learned. Always double-check the toilet before leaving. On another occasion, let's take a moment to appreciate the sportsmanship displayed by a football team in Argentina who chased down and attacked the referee after losing on penalties in a cup final. The surreal incident occurred at the end of an amateur cup final between La Puerta and Sportivo Tiraleza in the Argentine province of Cordoba. The La Puerta players were clearly passionate about the game and didn't take the loss lightly. They showed great teamwork and coordination in chasing the referee down, before unleashing a barrage of punches and kicks. Unfortunately, the fans on the side were unable to stop the violent assault as Sportivo Tiraleza celebrated their well-deserved victory. Referee Eduardo Pastorino was taken to the hospital to be treated for the injuries he sustained, but we can only hope that he's learned to dodge better for future matches. Last on the list is one of the most bizarre moments in football refereeing history that occurred during a French top flight fixture between Nantes and Paris Saint-Germain in January 2018. The match official, Tony Chapron, was trying to keep up with Kylian Mbappe as he burst towards the Nantes goal. But, unfortunately, he was tripped by Nantes centre-back Diego Carlos. What happened next was unbelievable. 
Instead of staying calm and composed, Chaprom reacted by kicking out at the Brazilian defender. To add insult to injury, he then showed Carlos a second yellow card. It's safe to say that Chapron's temper got the better of him on that day. Okay, okay, that's more than enough info for the day. While you're here, please like the video if you think it's informative. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any videos that we post. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye!